orthopedic surgeon Dr. Faraz Mayanji scrubs in for surgery at BC Children's Hospital several times a week, but today is different. He'll be the first in Canada to try something new. I am very excited, actually. Uh, we're going to try something very, very new. His young patient is six-year-old Grace Hansett, who was diagnosed with scoliosis two years ago. Yeah, this is from uh, um, the summer of 2012, and this is May of 2013, so about a nine-month interval. Uh, you can see her fairly um, significant progression of her curve. Her spine has curved so much, now the best option is surgery to implant a metal rod along her back so she can continue to grow with a straight spine. Yeah, this is a big deal. And that's a big deal for any parent. And I wish we weren't here. You know, the first shock was actually seeing the first x-ray and seeing the bend in the spine. And it was... You know, I know my initial reaction was, well, she was standing up when they took that x-ray. She wasn't leaning over. Grace's case is unusual because she's so young. That means the potential for more serious side effects if her spine continues to curve and twist, affecting her internal organs. The greater their growth potential, the more severe it, it can be. So if you have a young child with a large curve, they would be at the highest risk of something much more ominous than, say, an older child with a smaller curve. But with the regular growing rod, Grace would be looking at years of continued surgeries for adjustments every few months, quite the burden for a family from Cortez Island. However, Health Canada has given special permission for her to try out a new magnetic growing rod. It can be lengthened externally, a very simple in-clinic procedure. Yeah, no question that, you know, in terms of invasiveness, this is the least, least invasive way to go. So literally, Grace will come in, you'll do a little thing with the magnets, and then she can walk out? She can walk out, yeah, same go. day, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, so the magnet or the lengthenings does not need to be done under an anesthetic either. Grace is now recovering well and is the first patient in Canada and one of just a few in North America to try out the magic rod as it's called. Her progress will be followed very closely. Elaine Young, Global News.